Yeah, it, it could go a long way there, though for their confidence so they don't have to be asked about the allowing goals all the time heading into a game, so that's good for them. Uh, let's hear from the head coach now. Here is Rob Gale. Here now with Valor FC head coach Rob Gale. Coach Gale able to do something your team hasn't been able to do all season, and that's get a point here at the Wanderers grounds. Your thoughts on today's result? We deserve more. Okay, uh, you mentioned there were some controversial moments, at one at least in the end of the first half. A uh, player got taken down in the area there, and you were calling for a penalty. Uh, what did you see on that play? Something the linesman didn't. Okay, um, your team was able to keep your composure in the second half and battle through some emotional moments. That has been a problem for your team at various times throughout the season, but how important was the composure and what did you say to your team in halftime to, to keep the tide at bay? Uh, I think maybe once we've lost our emotion all season and I just said keep going, be patient. As the game goes on, we got fresh legs, we got attacking quality. Bustos is unbelievable, overhead kick at the end and then the easier chance he's not hit the target it so we should have won moving forward uh, you have a week more than a week off before you take on cavalry next on october 2nd what do you need to do to rebound and, and get ready for that game against we cavalry we're third in the table and if calls go our way with six points better off in the table for four minimum that's twice here that's thanks. what we need to do thanks coach gail get their hands and, and win football matches and we're getting closer but we're not getting any help thank you good luck the rest of the season we need it thank you yeah, Coach uh, Rob Gill, obviously frustrated uh, by the events of this game. Uh, one play in particular, the uh, shout for a penalty at the end of the first half. Ali Musi brought down in the box. Uh, what do you see here once again, Kurt? Yeah, it's a penalty. Uh, and I'm looking at Ensa putting both hands on Ali Musi's back, spinning him around a little bit, pre uh, prevents uh, a clear-cut opportunity. You could argue this is a red card. We didn't mention yes, that sure. in the uh, in, in, in the first half or the halftime. You could argue this is a red card because he is not playing the ball nope. and he's denied a clear goal scoring opportunity that's a red card that's a penalty rob gill um you know the ballers had an up and down season but i'm a firm believer in sometimes decisions need to go your way and it'll make your season so look a lot better and he's right they should be four points better than they are because of yeah four points better than they are because of referee decisions that have been missed now then a lot of clubs around the league would probably say that as well uh, but that's another mistake and so i agree with everything you just said there yeah, clearly frustrating.